Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Exogate Initiative. We're picking up exactly where we left off. We got our power production generator MK2 underway. Once that hits, oh, baby, this place is going to light up like a Christmas tree. It's going to be great. <laughs> We're sending our teams into the gate. We've already got taco cheese and angel food cake in there. Milkshake is following as well. It's funny, the difference of date. I, I don't know if it's always the same number of days. I think it might be random what things, what like how long it takes a team. Or maybe like a, lo a, a higher experience team gets through the gate faster, perhaps? Another, another patent available. This one should be pretty good. It's a rare patent. That's pretty good. How are we doing on patents? Oh, and regeneration as well. Oh, no, not quite. I thought they did. Uh, Angel Food Cake checking in. Angel Food Cake here. We found at least a hundred tiny piles of bones. They form a huge rectangle. What kind of bones? Do you think there are scavengers here? What do you think it- what kind of bones? Every kind imaginable, from single bones to seemingly complete skeletons. In my opinion, we're looking at a burial ground. What are your orders? Don't exhume the the species. Identify the species. Copy that. I'll call when it's done. Understood. Be careful. Like, what if they're around and they cut? They catch us like weird creatures digging up the bones of their ancestors? That's a horrible idea. We don't want to deal with that. That's a that's an alien crisis waiting to happen. Angel food cake checking back in. Report from IZ-808, the research on the bones was fruitful. They belong to a three-legged animal that li- How does a three-legged animal even function? That lived centuries ago. Are there three-legged animals on Earth? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Three-legged is just, just boggling my mind. We found another skeleton bigger than the others, but not formed into a pile. What killed them? Is the team feeling okay? What killed them? Reach level three. Good job, Antoine. Ah, oh, we lost mental health. There's no sign of violence. It seems the species simply died out. A lack of resources, perhaps? A pandemic? Uh-oh. <laughs> Either way, there's, their funerary rites seem to have involved the formation of graves from the bones of the deceased. However, there was no one left to do this for the last survivor. That's a, th a sobering thought. Indeed, I think we need a change of scenery after that. We'll explore somewhere else for the remainder of the mission. Continue exploring. Very interesting. Yeah, that would be sad if you were the last creature. Raphael, how did you get hurt? Did you trip over a pile of bones? We've discovered a sort of metal helmet, according to our analysis. It was used by an ancient race of now extinct culture. It's a great discovery. We, milkshake. Hey, don't touch that. Is everything okay? Crap, damn it. I think we're trapped. The hell, oh, I remember the, the, the uh, force field closing in on us. Can you undo it? We pushed it again and heard a click, but nothing's changed. Wait, the force field has slowed down. It didn't stop, but it slowed down. But how do we stop this thing? Uh, open up the helmet and tell me what you see. All right. Oh, it's full of cra cables and then alien instructions. There's a button with a flashing light and a vial of yellow fluid. What did we do last time? I think we smashed the vial. The force field just blinked. We all saw it. We must be close. Look at the relevant cables. One is yellow and connects to the vial to the bottom. The other is green. I think that connects to the helmet's electronics. Which one do we cut? But yellow, green, and the red one? Yellow. We got it. Ooh, I couldn't remember which thing I did to save the team last time. The force field shut down right before what before it reached us. Close call, but what about the helmet? Please don't. Oh, wait. We have it. It shouldn't cause us any more trouble. It's in poor shape anyway. We'll call you back if we find another helmet that wants to kill us. Please don't. All right, they brought back an artifact of warfare. We don't have a library yet, but they'll just set it on the ground until we until we do get a library. Have we finished researching the power yet? Not quite. We're like 75% of the way. Lots of samples incoming. That's great news. Julia, just set the just set it on the ground. Just put it in your bunk or something for now. It's fine. What did Raphael died too? What the hell? All right. <laughs> Next man up. Did that, did that happen in surgery or did they just like collapse? I didn't see anything about surgery. Oopsies. Oh man, this this Exogate initiative is a rough one out here. People dying right and left. Let's get some more soldiers. 
It's a meat grinder up in here. It's like Starship Troopers. Guess uh, the apes didn't want to live forever. <laughs> Yao is contemplating life after his buddy Raphael perished. An invasion begins in 10 days. Well, let's get our hands on some more soldiers, please. Four days. Okay. We'll have time to hire soldiers just in time for the invasion. Which also means we should probably get another set of um, defensive structures in here. Just because, like, we'll probably have the soldiers. And there are eight guns. So, like, why not? Yeah, we... All right, we've... Uh, pause real quick. I would like to deconstruct two of the power nodes and replace them. Let's do it like that. One, one big guy. And then we'll slowly work our way down the line and replace them as we go. Let me get in here and build this thing. Thank you. Hooray! And now we'll slow... <laughs> and now we'll slowly work our way down. Uh, comedy of errors with me, as always. We'll <laughs> work our way down the energy room. Oh boy, that was funny. I was like, that's not the right one. And I had already hit sell before I could even stop myself. Alright, this is the... Let, let's do the one over. There we go. That's the one drawback of... Uh, building your your base so like close together all right we have access to soldiers and yang on yang catherine tremblay tyler moore and ida Berger. she's the most expensive of them and on is the least so let's get on and then let's get two more Let, honestly just go for the rookies sorry ida you're the most qualified and the least likely to, for me to hire okay Throw some more people on here. C Cecile? Cecily? I keep mixing her name up. I assume it's Cecily. I guess I can pronounce it however I want because they're not real people. All right, we've got 18 soldiers up in here. We're ready to rock and roll. How are we doing on patents? We're so close to five more, five more patents, or uh, five more theories for the patents. All right, uh, two days still. Let's go ahead and continue our power swap over. We got enough leeway here. Uh, people get to your things. Soldiers, are you all in place? I think you are. So let's lock this door. Lock that door. Yao, get get to your get to your location, my man. Let's build up more energy reserves. And then... Alright, the Scarb have come through. There are three of them this time. Annoying. How's the, how's the shooting going? Oh, man! Good job, but man, they did a lot of damage to my people. Oh, there were four of them. Gross. All right, fended off the invaders. Lots of people injured there. Maybe we should f get some, some guns going, too. All right, now we can research the ore. The ore processing. There we go. Great news. And we can get the, the ops room going, too. I'm thinking two right off the bat, because we have 2,000 spare power. So, what's... what? Planets have the highest scientific potential. Yeah, that's a great planet. Perfect. Claim this planet, and then we'll set up a scientific expedition. Very high on a level one planet is awesome. Now we're looking for other medium, medium, not great. High on a level three isn't too bad. Excuse me. I got the hiccups all of a sudden. None. And then we haven't researched these yet. Okay, so I think this one will be the next one. And we'll have to claim... Actually, what, the way I should set this up is... Oh, alien planet. Sick. Um, let's deconnect you guys. And we'll connect directly through 
these planets. So let's claim, claim, claim. And then we'll set up our second scientific expedition to Mars to <laughs> whatever planet that is. All right, unlock the doors to Med Bay. Only four injuries for the soldiers. They were probably pretty minor overall, too. Although some of them look like they got a little bo bodied, but... Let's, uh, let's actually go ahead, and I talked about this before, but let's go ahead and expand out the cafeteria one further. Have you guys built these? You have! Sa fantastic news. All right, scientific s expedition. This is the purview of Burger Bravo. Ten days seems fine. And then second scientific expedition. What is the second lowest level squad we have? Fives and two. Four, five, four, and no one because Raphael died. Six, four, two is pretty low. Uh, lowest common denominator, denominator, I should say. Maybe we make a second, a new team for like total noobs. Because we do have a bunch of soldiers as well. Let's create a new team. B Noble suggested Funk Force 5, which is very funny. Is there a 5? I remember we made a Saturn 5. But I think that was because of the the, Sa the, the Saturn planet looking thing. And I don't think there's numbers. But we can just pick something that looks funky, huh? What looks the funkiest? Oh, there's a flame team. This looks pretty funky. Or this thing. All right, Funk Force 5, you're uh what color would you be? Maybe like light blue? Got like a dark blue team and a light blue team? Oh, I don't we don't have a blue team at all. All right. I didn't even name you. Rename. Uh 5. <laughs> triple F. The Triple F squad. Okay, we've got a, a, a bucket of low-level dudes. The thing is, do they need a, like a scientist as a chaperone? I don't know. But let's snag... Um, what's the team that's missing a, a, team, a team member? It is Angel Food Cake. So let's snag Lee Hu. You're like the... You're like the... The dad of this team now. So Lee, where are you? There you go. And then let's send two soldiers with you just to give them more experience. They can grab samples. Um, they can grab samples because we have that abil uh, the thing that allows them to do so. What, I don't even know what it was called. The technology? Basic ore processing is underway. Our ops room is functioning. Our power is through the roof now, which is great. And we have two recurring teams going. We should probably start getting our mining teams going as well. I think I want to go after the Asteril first. So let's disconnect this stuff. Pull back our, pull back our gate lines here. Just so we're not going crazy. And we so we need to claim this sector first in order to uh, be able to mine it. So let's claim these and then claim the this one. Hooray! Now, assign a mining team. Oh, <laughs> we can't assign a mining team until our uh, research is done. So let's let that finish. Check our patents one more time. So close. Well, we could we could also do some more more exploring. I don't want to do the aliens until we have a scholar yet. So maybe we go like this direction and connect here and then create mission taco cheese. Sure. Good luck. And then level 5, another level 4 artifact. We should probably hold off on the artifacts until we can get our hands on a library, honestly. So let's hit another level four here. Send Milkshake on this level four. 
Level five, five, five. Lots of fives out here. And a six even. And a three. But that's an alien mission. Here's another alien. We're we're already running into our first exosuits, so we haven't uh We'll have to think about when we want to fit those into our research schedule. After the ore refining, probably after guns, even. And definitely after library, too. So, we have a ways to go. But the recurring missions for science should really help kickstart our technology um, production, I think. Okay. Let's let things roll along for a bit here. Funk Force 5 is through the gate. Lots of people who aren't ready to go on a mission yet. Ah, we've dug out the rest of this wall. I wanted to expand out the cafeteria here. Just so I can build another set of tables. It'd be cool if the game eventually... If the game eventually had, like, different stuff for lunches i don't know if you could have like a lunch person <laughs> a lunch lady uh i like the idea we'll see training room is going fine we haven't unlocked any of this stuff yet got another patent right julie moreau is just ch chugging along writing pa patents throughout the night burning both ends of the candle Teams, when are you going to be ready to go? Funk Force 5 is already coming back. They're, they've already gone through the gate and back before you, any of you guys are ready to go. Good grief. Julia is being treated for something. All right. Well done, team. Good job, Lee. Catherine and On brought back samples. Great news. And they're gaining, the most export, uh, important thing is probably experience. Well, maybe not the most important, but definitely helps. All right. So we finished raw, uh, ore processing. How much is a library? Oh, we have to research the rec room before we can even get to library? Who knew? All right. Well, rec room it is next. That's what, 200? Yep. And then library is probably 200, if not more. But let's get our ore processing going. I actually, at, at the end of the last playthrough, I really liked the uh, the way um, our ore processing was going with two foundries. I don't like that. I like it. I think I like them side by side. So like, so. And now we would like our storage. Astral, you only ever need storage for like one because you always sell Astral. You can't make anything out of Astral. So let's like do one Astral storage, one Maglum, and then, or two Maglum, and then like go from there. 8840 is not a good destination for a holiday exo. The suns are strong. They've been injured. They're losing health. They're, they've been irradiated. I feel a little lightheaded. Describe your symptoms. They failed. I feel like the fever and thirst and there's something and there's been being nothing for miles around. Could this be an alien attack? I suppose it could be. Their mental health increased. Haha, -ha, I can't believe you fell for that one. I really needed that. Anyway, it's probably sunstroke. What should we do? Uh, keep walking until you find shelter. Wait until it's nighttime. I feel like if you just like lie down in the sun, that's not going to help you though. Find shelter? That sounds like a sensible thing to do. Why didn't I think of that? Because you've got sunstroke. Look after yourselves and keep me informed. Well, that, what a terrible place they've gone to. Holy cow. All right. We've got our, our stuff up and running. Process units of Astral. Oh, we need raw ore storage. Yes. Let's sell you two and get these raw ore storages going. And then we'll probably put some over here as well. Taco Cheese is back. Reporting for an update on the sunstroke situation here on this hellhole of a planet. We walked all day and didn't stop once to rest. Eventually, we found shelter under a rocky outcrop. Managed to get a couple hours of sleep. Feeling weary, but we were ready to hit the road again. 
Uh, every cloud is a silver lining. Cloud, nice one. Wait, I found that funny. Maybe I've still got sunstroke. <laughs> uh, I heard that XO out. Awaiting new instructions. Oh, they don't have a medic on their team. Continue the exploration. Good luck, taco cheese. Rough. All right, we need to sell Astral, so we should... Oh, we need to get it processed first. Oh, however, we can set up the re reoccurring mission now. So what is our lowest level mining team? Probably... It kind of looks like it's Taco Cheese, which is on a mission right now. It's actually... I think it's Burger Bravo, but they're they're doing science right now, so... Maybe what that means actually is we should taco cheese is back. We should research that thing a lot that allows everybody to carry carry or taco cheese here. Do you copy loud and clear Moreau flora mission initiated? We've arrived in some kind of lush jungle. Not much of note except a strong wind. Whoa, wait a second. Is everything okay? Now that's something says Carlos. What happened? I hope it's good news. Looks like we found where the wind is coming from. We're on an island floating high in the sky. We just reached the edge. There's a lot of them, and it's a long way down. How high are you? I can't be sure, but we're above the clouds and many more of the islands. There are massive plants and trees growing from one island to the other, sort of like bridges. How is that even possible? I have a theory. The islands are being held aloft by huge trees, like huge tree houses, I wager. We, can't just, see, we just can't see the trunk from here. We'd have to get a closer look. All right, mind your step and report back soon. Very cool. Let's get our hands on on the raw ore processing thing. I know it's going to slow down our ability to get the library off the ground, but the library is not super critical at this point. Like it'll help us push along our like our our artifact and our, our our alien recruiting, but but I think we're pretty doing pretty good. We've only been invaded twice so far. We've reached the other edge of the floating island, which is attached to the trunk of a giant tree. Also, it's not a single tree, more like a lattice of trees and thick vines, holding up the island. How does it attach to the island? Anything you'd like to look at? Can you cross the lattice? Anything you'd like to look at? Where do I begin? The bridges between the islands seem composed of two different lattices, one from each side, which are meeting in the middle and supporting one another. I'd love to get a reading on the stress tolerances going on out there. Spoken like a true engineer. Do you think you can climb, make the climb safer? Sure can, Exo. Leave it to me. Be careful. Good job. Oh, affinity increased. Yes! This team's gonna be the coolest team. Taco Cheese is gonna love each other by the end of this mission. Uh, got to the intersection of Lannis's XO. It's like a spaghetti junction. What do you make of it? Anything to sample? We got a bio sample. And 136 science points earned. It's a scientific marvel here. Incredibly strong interwoven branches and vines. But they do more than just tie the islands together and hold them aloft. They produce seeds which disperse into the air and catch in other lattices, taking root to grow new islands. I'll be taking a sample home to study for sure. Well done, Taco Cheese. What's next? End your mission. Oh, they all got injured, though. Well, take a break, Taco Cheese. You've earned it. Holy cow. I was going to send them to go get... Get a... Well, I guess they all got beat up by, by having to trek across the desert. Maybe we need to get some more engineers. Or maybe one more engineer? I guess, yeah, we have this... The angel food is just, like, doing nothing. Um, because everybody died. Yeah, I think I think I'll get my hands on two more engineers. And then um maybe like one more medic. It'd be nice to have a medic on some of these teams. They're getting the crap kicked out of them. <laughs> uh yeah, let's do it. Let's look at for for some more medics. Make them make them cheap. Just like one more medic is what what I want to get my hands on. So just like a short, short couple of recruitment campaigns there. Hopefully nobody has like a major issue, so they're not they're not gonna be uh have to go to surgery because that doesn't go well for us.
All right, we're low on science again, but we do have the rec room going, which I should probably think about placement for a second here. I liked where I had the rec room before. It was just kind of like next to the, good job team. It's just like next to the, to the barracks here. I think I want to do what I was talking about, though, where I rebuild the wall and shift everything over by one. So let's do it like this. Dig out the hallway, expand, expand the bedroom, and then we'll build the rec room, like, thusly. Another successful mission. Good job, team. Oh, there's, there's, uh, there's bedrock out there. Maybe we don't need a door then. Maybe we just make a like a rec room that attaches to the bedroom. All right, good job, Burger Bravo and Funk Force Five. Well done, mining team. We should probably, you know what, Taco Cheese, you're the team. You'll go out on a mission once you're ready, though. Let's let's uh, hire the one medic, Haru, Haru, Haruka Tanaka. And this is the first Japanese gator I've ever seen. We're hiring the first. We're, we want, we're all about diversity at this exogate. Uh, let's get Haruka on this mission. Let's ditch Antoine. Throw Tyler onto the team. Because we want it to be a low-level team to just be generating... Um, generating ore. And what I'm kind of thinking is actually pull Jacob. Oh, oh, we can't edit the team while they're on a mission, which is they're always on a mission. So maybe what we do is we pull Nicholas off Burger Bravo. Throw uh, Antoine onto Burger, back onto Burger Bravo. And then we stick Nicholas onto Angel Food Cake. And then Angel Food Cake can be that for this this one. I can't assign a mining team? Oh, we haven't claimed it. Duh. Hee 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 hee. I remember how this game works. Claim. And we're almost out of claim claiming. <laughs> <laughs> we should uh, uh, this is a little bit of a lower level team so maybe what we should do Adams you have a, you have something in your hands what do you have is it a sample is it a oh what you call it uh, we got engineers to hire as well Amy Brown Gilherm Alves. He's higher scores and lower salary. Guillerme? 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 Oh, Guillerme. It's like Guillermo from... From... Uh, what we do in the shadows. But Guillerme instead of Guillermo. Uh, signing mining team. Oh, we were going to edit you guys. So take Haruka off this team and put somebody who's a little bit of a better a better squad leader like a four seems like really good like a good person to have maybe snag snag ivy from milkshake squad and then we'll swap out her with Haruka. Haruka. There we go. Alright, new Scarb Invasion incoming. Still working on the rec room. Did we get the ore one analyzed? We did not. Okay, swap that back over. I wanted ore room first. And we should dig out this hallway too. Expand the bedroom by three. Does everybody have a bed? I was going to say, I don't think everybody has a bed. Guillerme doesn't have a bed. We'll sort that shortly here. And then get some, some walkers here. 
then we want to move everybody over. Good job. Well done. Invasion incoming. The reason I wanted to do all of this is so I could build that wall, but I don't think we can build the wall before the invasion gets here. How fast can I move all of the beds? Ah, I've already made a mistake. I wish there was like a mass select button that you could select the whole the whole room and move it over. It's probably hard to program. There's no like click and drag. It's not an RTS. People are beat up. Look at all the symbols on the top of the screen there. Leehu, just leave your thing on the ground, man. We'll build a library in a second. Go get your guns. Simon Robinson, can I move you while you're in bed? Okay, you, you got out of bed. Thank you. Oh, the last month to collect funding. All right, soldiers, to your to your stations. Civilians to the safety zone, quickly. Did we assign all the soldiers? I think we did. I think they were assigned last time, honestly. I'm almost done. I don't have time to close the wall, but uh, we don't want to lock this door until all the soldiers get in place. Although some of them are probably in the gate right now. Oh, Catherine's getting over through there. All right, we have six. I think one's probably in the gate, probably on Funk Force 5. So let's lock that door too. One, two, three, four. Only four scarb, not too bad. While that's going on, let's build this wall. Oh, how did he get in? What the hell? This gate, this door sucks. Excuse me. Where's this guy going? Lock this door. Oh, he's going to chew through the damn wall. Yeah, we definitely need better guns. Anna's, Anna's getting bodied back here. Holy cow. Hey, dummies. Is somebody gonna kill this guy? <laughs> you, you bozos! Oh, he blew up my generator. Get him. Replace the generator. There, we've killed him. Good grief. He went right through the wall. Alright, fix this wall. That wasn't so bad. Although we do have no power right now, so that's not a good thing. Let's unlock the door to medbay. Let's analyze all of these scarb... Scarb corpses. Alright, cool. Well, that's a great time to pause the episode. If you guys... What on earth was that symbol? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It, it helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Exegate Initiative or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody!